So good evening, uh, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Worship Orders Retreat. Uh, my name is Rhonda, and I'm here to bring some encouragement to obey Yah at all costs. Um, I was uh, conversing um, with um, some of my sisters in Christ, and I was just, just being transparent and honest with them and just telling them, like, obedience is not easy. If we just if we can be honest for a man and if we can just keep it like y'all love to say a book. Um obedience is not easy and the older I get I understand why the scripture that says the narrow path um that there be few travelers because obedience y'all when you start getting higher up in y'all it's a certain level of sanctification that's required. It's a certain level of stripping off of everything of this world just to have increased intimacy with Yah. And very few people reach that. Very few people are willing to make the sacrifice of full surrender and obedience. And pretty sure the, the matriarchs and patriarchs of the scriptures could understand that. I'm pretty sure it cost Abraham a lot when he had to leave his family with limited instructions, and he told him, and, and y'all told him to go to Canaan. You know, eventually he just he left, but he obeyed. He he walked in faith, and y'all said it was accounted to him for righteousness. I'm pretty sure <laughs> when when Daniel had to sit in that lion's den, y'all, his faith had to be fully invested in y'all. When the three Hebrew boys had to be in the fire, and they said, even if they told King Nebuchadnezzar, they said, even if he doesn't deliver, he's still y'all, and we still won't bow. That's how we have to be flat-footed, how y'all love to say, ten toes down in this day and age, because there are things coming that's going to challenge our faith, and you have to obey at all costs. That's the only way to spend eternity with him, y'all. I'm, you see me, y'all get y'all see me on here. You think I want to wear hair wraps and, and this other stuff? But when you love somebody, you make sacrifice. A lot of y'all like to say love don't hurt. That's a lie. If Christ was walking the earth today and you could sit down and have a conversation, which we still can, but he'll tell you love does hurt. <laughs> love was battered and bruised on a on Calvary, okay? Even, even, even with me walking in obedience, a lot of times I have to put my feelings on the back burner for other people just so y'all can help heal them and I'm tired and stuff and, you know, but that's what y'all requires of me. So obey at all costs, okay?